city of Milwaukee has turned in some neighborhoods at some times into a sewer. Tonight, CBS 58 goes one on one with the judge whose scathing remarks about Milwaukee put him in the spotlight this week. When he spoke in his courtroom, Judge David Borowski did not stop at calling Milwaukee a sewer. He had a lot more to say, and elected leaders were also one of his targets. As CBS 58's Victor Jacobo talked to the judge today and joins us now live from the newsroom. Victor. That's right, Natalie. Judge David Borowski says he's seriously concerned about the dramatic rise in crime over the last few years in Milwaukee. He says it's on the community as well as city, county, and state leaders to step up and do something about it. I think it resonated because it, I was saying rather bluntly something that I think a lot of people are thinking. Reflecting on his strong words in court last week, Judge David Borowski told me his reaction was sparked by seeing the growth of homicide, car theft, and reckless driving cases in recent years. Because what we have right now is not just a problem, but a crisis. He hopes his words can spark action from city leaders instead of what he says are just statements and press releases that don't change anything. I think we need some strategies from whoever is elected mayor next month, from our police chief, from other elected officials, aldermen and others, to deal with this problem. Borowski noted part of that strategy involves more funding for resources for the criminal justice system, which is in the hands of legislators in Madison. I, I think the legislature needs to recognize that the city of Milwaukee and Milwaukee County need additional resources. Shared revenue has gone down as a portion of the county and city budgets over the course of the last 10 years. And the money that we need to deal with some of the crime issues needs to be there. He also believes young people need a greater emphasis on patience and conflict resolution instead of resorting to gun violence to solve minor offenses. In the old days, that would have been a fist fight. And I'd like to go back to the days of fist fighting because not that I'm endorsing that, but two guys having it out and throwing a few punches and resulting in a broken nose is a lot better than someone pulling out a Tech 9 and shooting somebody. Judge Borowski also says the, crime, the rise in crime can partly be tied to the pandemic, but it's not the sole reason. And he says politicians should not behind that, hide behind that. Live in the newsroom, Victor Jacobo, CBS 58 News.